Uh, ben Stokes probably. He'll take all of his, obviously his cricket kit, a um, you know, number of different trainers and outfits to wear for dinner and stuff. And um, he'll have his golf clubs, this, that and the other. And, Try and fit it all into a tiny little car as well, so it's always interesting watching him. Tiny little turn. car, Dallas Stokes has got a tiny little car. Well, sometimes, um, but no, it's, he's always got plenty of plenty of stash on him, yeah. So you've got the bats, who has the most bats? I might be guilty for that one. Really? Yeah. You're a bit of an addict with the, when it comes to the bats. Can be, can be, yeah. The worst gears, I'd, I'd probably have to say Sam Billings. And a pink chinos or something. Him or Tom Curran. Uh, Tom Curran is very, very out there with some of the stuff he wears. Um, and Sam sometimes tries to follow suit, but yeah, Tom probably just takes a biscuit. What sort of look does he go for? Um, catwalk look sometimes, <laughs> you know. It's, it's sort of stuff you'd see in a, a magazine, I suppose. But um, yeah, he, he's probably a trendsetter. I'm, I'm probably the one that's miles behind <laughs> everything else, but um, yeah, he changes he's stuff, definitely he? out there. Is he's he? definitely out there. Sam Billings. I, mean, I think I've even caught him practicing a celebration when he takes a catch on the field, so. Gives it a dab, um, doesn't he? It does all sorts, yeah, depending on which football <laughs> or which FIFA <laughs> celebration he's he's seen most recently. He's, yeah, he's... He's he quite a good it. footballer, though, isn't he? He'll tell you he is, yeah. I thought there was a story about how he played for Man United under no, sevens or something. Uh, he, he's, what, Prince of Kent or whatever. Yeah. So he's probably one of picked himself, man, yeah. Really. Picked himself to play for for a side down there and told everyone how good he is. But if you actually watch him play, you'll soon realise that um, he's got all the gear, but there's not really much substance to it. No idea. Yeah. Um, Mark Ramprakash. There's one occasion um, in recent times where it was a, a slightly grease service. We've all obviously got spikes on, um, and he didn't tackle anyone. He just went flying in and if, if there was someone there it would have made a great challenge. Um, tried to turn too quickly, ended up on his backside, made for a, a great bit of um, comedy goal on the WhatsApp. Someone luckily had it on film so there's a nice gift floating around. So he's just rubbish, he's not? He's no, he's, he's a good footballer, um, just a bit greasy surface, he had trainers on, not boots on and um, it ended up looking like he tried to two foot an invisible man but it was... Uh, it's good fun. He's a big Arsenal fan as well, isn't he? Massive Arsenal fan, yeah. A number of times it, he'll come down for, for dinner or you'll see him walking out the hotel with an Arsenal shirt on. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he loves it. We're not so much recently. Well, yeah, he's, he's been very quiet recently, yeah, yeah, so I think that says a lot, doesn't it? Joss is a very talented footballer. Um, it hurts me to say it. Um, He's, yeah, he's, he's normally one of the first picked when it comes to the old school ground picking of teams. Um, so I'd, I'd probably have to say him. What role does he play? He, he plays that, that holding role in midfield. Um, can get a bit adventurous at times, can bomb up there, but he's, he's got a great engine, good work rate. Um, I think he'd travel well in over 90 minutes. And you're in the middle of the pack, not the worst, not the best? No, not the worst, not the best. My work rate's not quite up there with what Joss's is, and especially on the morning of a game, I'm trying to make sure I'm um, you know, concentrating on, on the cricket, but um, I'd probably put myself in the Berbatov range. It's not necessarily um, the hardest working, but there's a bit of flair in there, and you know, come up with the goods a lot of the time. We don't actually have a, like a fines meeting or a fines do. But I think if we did, um, uh, Adil Rashid would be up there a lot of the time for for some ridiculous comments, stupid coming out with silly things. Um, I think sometimes he doesn't realise, you know, what he's saying. Um, but now that you, you get him and Mo together, and they're you know, they're very funny. They they like taking the mick out of each other, um, and um, no, and out of the rest of the lads as well. It's it's a it's a great environment to be to be playing in when you've got that. That humour in the dressing room, um, yeah. But I, I can, I would see Rash getting a lot of, uh, getting a lot of stick, especially from Matt. Uh, um, he's he's the instigator when it comes to the humour. He's got um, a great way in the dressing room, um, along with Joss and and, uh, and Stokesy. The, those three guys are they're always um, looking to try and um, 
get a giggle out of someone. Are you out of it now, you're captain? Are you to one side? <laughs> yeah, I've never really been the, the funniest guy in the team, but I um, always like to try and get involved in an odd bit of uh, banter or something flying around. M a bit more difficult now, then. Not a sock sniffer? Nah, that's never been my bag now. Bad yeah. rumours, though. I'd say Sam Billings again, he's like social media king. He's always doing something or um, tweeting someone or Instagramming a picture of something. He's got his drone now that he oh, flies yeah. around as videos. The oh, drone bros, The drone isn't bros, it? him and Jason. Um, they're always putting stuff on social media. So he's, he's he must have a great battery in one of whatever phone <laughs> he's got. He must have a great battery life because he's always on it. I'll put myself forward as worst dancer. Bad moves. Uh, yeah, I, I've sort of, I suppose, crept in towards that bracket the last year or so. Um, best moves. You know, Rash has got some good moves. Really? You're dancing around in the dressing room a lot of the time. Um, you see that dig, that's probably as far <laughs> as it might go. Uh, but yeah, he'd be, uh, I think he's, he's got a few moves, yeah. Dowie Milan probably has to be perfectly fitted and yeah, he likes it to, to look good on him and, and he's making sure that the size is exactly right, swapping shirts if it's shrunk or uh, he'll always want the one that's shrunk uh, in the <laughs> he's wash. He's keen on the muscle fit, so, is he? Yeah, take him down as well. <laughs> well. Stokes he is, but he shouldn't be, if you ask me. He's, he's normally in control. Um, yeah, I'm, can't, it's hard to describe what genre of music it is a lot of the time. But, um, a bit hardcore. It can be quite hardcore. Um, gets the lads going on occasion. Uh, it's not my bag, but uh, if it works for everyone else, that's fine with me. No pop? Uh, the, every now and again, something yeah. will sneak on there. I think Ben will have this uh, very hardcore stuff and then a Disney song will sneak on, I think. Oh, yeah, play me uh, on the kids. Uh, yeah, I think he's quite a big Disney fan at heart. Yeah. Who isn't? Well, you too. I've been sat next to a few guys who are heavy snorers. You should be quite. Yeah, you turn, you turn in the, the, uh, the iPad up or the, you know, you're putting the headphones on um, to, to try and cut the cut the noise out. But Who are the snorers then? Well, I'd, I'd probably say. I've been sat next to Jason when he's, yeah. he's giving it a, a heavy. Got a big head as well. Massive head. Melanin. Melanin. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a very big Swede. There's been a few, hasn't there? And you look back at some of Jimmy Anderson's haircuts and oh, they've yeah. been shockers. Similar with when Brody cut his hair short. I don't know why he did that. <laughs> um, but there you go. It seems to have gone back to a, a normal length now. But um, yeah, I, I, it's hard to look past Jimmy having different highlights and yeah. colour in his And hair. that red streak in his hair once, didn't he? Yeah. I'd have to say, Jimmy, yeah. That's shocking. Not for me. No, no red stripes for you? No KP-esque? No, not for me. For yeah, don't, no, I, don't, I don't see that happening in, any time soon. Uh, how big is the island? Pretty small. All right, um, uh, it's just you and him. No one else. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say Jason. Quite a resourceful man. Uh, likes, likes to be down by the beach. I reckon he'd be able to catch us some grub and um, we wouldn't fall out too often, so I'd, I'd say Jamie. Start the fires. Yeah, you can, I'd start the fire, you can cook, it'd be quite romantic, I think. Yeah.